it's got to a point now that this spraying the skies chemtrail in we know that chemtrails stay up there in the skies they're not contrails now again they're designed to hide to cover up the truth to cover up these objects that are up there been hidden for many years now we see far too many of them halos sun dogs different cloud formations that we've never seen before and again the, the media NASA calls them different names just to confuse the public even more and now people are starting to uh, wake up to this whole situation and we're going to try and get the message out I'm going to try my hardest I really am for all of you because again we just want the truth now I've got these images that are coming through from right across the world and please enjoy this video okay let's go and check some images from the other side of the world we're going to now reach over to Florida we're going to look at Iris Turner's images because you see the lighter skies with these strange chem formations and then round about half past ten the skies just turn black very dark for an hour and then lighten up again proving there's something wrong there's a huge shadow up there okay this is Iris's first photograph and she states when she saw this uh, strange cloud formation it didn't move all the rest of them did move but this just stayed in one place and it is a very strange formation isn't it in the sky it looks like the letter E now we have had subscribers sending in information saying that they're seeing numbers in the skies as well now again just being observant it could be anything we just got to be open-minded on this channel let me show you the next image because the skies then become very dark on this next photograph this was taken around 10 30 a.m. and iris as well who's showing these uh, images i mean from that color of the sky that you noticed in the morning sunrise now look at this look how dark it is again all this is just toxic and this blue color and around as well you're getting this pink haze two separate colors very dark isn't it very strange we see these and we have seen them on webcams and many other people's photographs people just want the truth they just wanna be told what is happening because we are now seeing this dark shadow and it's becoming much more evident every day I mean anyone that's looking up at the sky when Iris is taking these images would know that there was something wrong but still people walk round and when they get told and we speak to them the members of public they just look up and think there's nothing wrong everything's fine now they only say this is because they've been believing the media they've been listening to the media and just ignoring this this is a situation and NASA and other government organizations are thinking they're becoming clever at this and it just bleeds my heart because I just want this um, information to come out we all do don't we because we're seeing a huge difference now this next attachment is coming in from Dan from Toronto in Canada now many people have said on the uh, comment board as well that they'd like to see images from Canada and look at the sky here as well it is and has been truly hammered all this above here is just a haze now this haze is what we're breathing in every day these lines in the skies are full of uh, toxins look at the color of the Sun now do you remember what I said on the other video that we're not seeing the black dot anymore so thank you again for this uh, photograph because when when you know the colors the shadows the textures they have changed look at this road here look at the shadows it's dimming there is a darkening because we are seeing an eclipse now this eclipse lasts for about half an hour to nearly 45 minutes or so and then it lightens up again at the one half past one skies 
very strange. So when you see the sunrise, please look around the area half past 10 to 12 p.m. You will see a difference. Here is the next photo that Dan sent in as well from Canada. Look again, there's no black dot on the screen. We are all seeing that haze as well that's been thrown up there in our atmosphere. You can just see the different reflection. Now back in the day you would see a yellow reflection of the natural sun. This isn't our sun. It hasn't been our sun for a long time. Here we have some other fantastic attachments as well from Marie. We saw other photographs from this kind person and now you're seeing more. These images have just come in very, very now, recently, from Florida. Look at the skies, okay? Look at those trees as well. They're not as healthy as they was many years back. This, again, is not our sun. It's a huge, different colour. There's no black dots. Look again at these dark shadows. The sky is dimming. This proves, again, there's a disc that's covering our natural sun. The sun that's behind here, our natural heavenly body is dimming. If this wasn't here now, the sky would just be virtually black and then everybody on earth will know that there's something wrong. So again, thank you for this uh, fantastic image. Here we go again. It's happening every day, isn't it? Now this is a genuine photograph from this kind lady, Marie, that's sending these photos in. Now. It does look like something out of a studio, doesn't it? I mean, look at this. The light colour from this object is completely wrong. It's not the sun. If it was, it would brighten all of this wall, everything. This just shows you this is a genuine photograph with no filter, no trickery, because if it was, you would just see still a bright glare on this wall, OK? But what you're seeing is this dimness. Look at this dark area. I mean, it's all shadowed and dark. The trees, again, if it was a filter or a special lens, you would still see a glare off these trees. Look at the lines again. Lines in the skies. Dark shadows, a huge halo, and to the left-hand side, again, we're seeing a dark sky like we saw on the webcams in Austria. It's becoming more evident every day. I believe that those heavenly bodies are crossing now the path of Earth. They've come on this elliptical orbit, okay? They've made their way back. I've said this before, and I've been observing the skies myself for a number of years, and the changes have been slowly showing themselves to a point now that we're seeing this. Many people send in all these photographs in, email, mostly every day, stating the same thing, the progressness of seeing the skies from the past is showing a huge build-up, a slow build-up, okay, of these changes. Here we have again, during to 1 p.m. just gone, everything lightens up again. It lightens up. People driving around with their car headlights on, and there's no thick clouding that you saw, it's just chemtrails to confuse people because people still think they're just normal clouds and this is what's causing the dim darkness. They've been lied to about the halo, saying it's ice crystals up there. It isn't. It's chemtrails, I'm afraid. Chemicals. And being positive, being truthful and just carrying on is very important because what you're seeing on the screen is where the skies are lightening up again proving that that was an eclipse. Now I'm going to go to other images. These next attachments have come in from Kish. Now this kind subscriber is looking at the uh, strange skies as well. Now many people across the other side of the world is seeing chemtrails and a pink haze. And it's important to keep showing the, uh, the images because things are changing. Let's move to the next photograph from this kind subscriber. Now again, it is very important to show other people's images from across the world. Because look at this image. 
she's got her camera pointing out of her car and she's noticing those chem lines in the skies. She's new to the channel and she's seeing these differences as well. So more and more people are waking up, aren't they? They are noticing these changes and that's fantastic now to the other side of where the sun is this pink haze and these chem lines something being covered and also people again during the daytime skies having their headlights on now people have got used to it haven't they this is proven that people have got used to this because Back in the day of these times, okay, nobody had their headlights on. It was brighter, but again, you look at all this haze, look at these lines. I mean, this kind subscriber is very upset. She sent an email saying she's truly annoyed with this. She wants her planet back. She wants her blue skies back and a yellow sun. She doesn't want to see these chemtrails anymore. They are trying to cool the atmosphere down because the sun is affected. It's affected because of those other heavenly objects. We live on a heavenly body that's orbiting around the sun. There's many objects out there that are hazardous to us and we can't just think that nothing's going to happen because it's happened in the past. We are part of a collision from the past as well. This is why we're here. It's just part of our nature. Now, I'm going to go to the next image, but seeing those lines in the skies are causing people to become annoyed now. Here we have other images as well. She's joining the traffic now. The traffic has slowed down. But looking over to the other side, is further of more lines in the skies. She's noticing people in their cars, in the traffic, just looking down at their mobile phones, laughing away and just tapping away and not noticing what is happening above in our skies. I mean, I just hope that the Lord will come and save humanity because it's being destroyed with what is happening. Monica sent this image in as well. She's a researcher and she studies the skies every single day. And she said in her email for the past 10 years, she's noticed these chemtrails, but there's been a big build up. And no doubt this year, 2017, it's got really bad. Everywhere across big populated areas are being sprayed. Look at those lines. I mean, look at all this haze. Everything on the screen is unnatural. Again, just states as well that people around the areas are not looking up because they have listened to the media channels. Now, in a way, it does stop mass panic. People will be very worried about this. And it's for us, isn't it, to notice the differences Okay, being in tune to what's going on. Now, when we see skies like this, we are definitely going to turn our heads and look up, aren't we? We are seeing a huge difference. Thing is, though, okay, that all this in the sky is going to land on everything. It lands on everything. And as I said on the other video, I do have footage. I will build like a documentary over the weekend and show you these other images of all these uh, particles and things and aluminium that comes down to the ground. I mean, these fibers, there's thousands of pieces of fibers. I mean, it's just unreal when you see the footage. So again, thank you for this image. Here is another fantastic subscriber that's sending in true images called Julie from Indiana. Now, Look at the uh, the halo and also look at this object. Again, it's not got the black dots. Look at these chem lines in the skies. Look at this dark area. Again, all this you see is not natural. But what I noticed on this um, photograph is this pink haze. Can you see this pink haze around here as well? This pink haze is from Wormwood. Now, 
We're seeing a lot of this, aren't we? And everything on the screen is a, is a cover-up. It is a government corrupt cover-up. Everything on the screen. Dark skies and, I mean, everything just set to uh, a dimness. This is what Julie says in her email. Now, I know full well that these people are genuine. Okay? No trickery. No messing with the camera. Just genuine photographs. This is what we need. This is what we want. Here we have another attachment that's come in from another genuine subscriber. Now, this image is coming from Vegas. A lot of images are coming in from Vegas as well. And whilst driving down the road, she notices this. Just like what you saw on Julie's images. All of a black area here in the halo and then we're seeing this uh, strange formation again and also these okay we're seeing a lot of haze in the sky it is becoming much stranger isn't it reflections and the halo is becoming bigger they're spreading it out wider because they don't want us to see the truth okay they're blocking the skies as well because now if all this was out the way it would just be a very dark, very dark sky and people will think something's wrong and why isn't the media speaking out? It's a cover-up. They're pulling the wool, as I said before. This image has come in from Gabriel from New Mexico. I've got many subscribers from Mexico. They're very worried. They're seeing different colours in the skies and also looking to different horizons. They're seeing other light sources trying to cut through them chems on the horizon. Look at this pink haze. Now this kind subscriber stated, never seen this pink haze as strong as this before in the skies. All this again is just trails, just to cover the truth. Pink reflections. Now, as I said on the other video, we have the right to show these images. We're seeing skies, we're seeing the earth, and we also have the right of freedom of speech. We're allowed to talk about anything that's natural, okay? Because this is a natural event. This is not to worry anybody or to cause fear or panic. It's just that we are all observers to the skies. And it is important for these images to come through. People send these photographs through because they want other people to see the truth. And this is why we are all here listening to this. Now, on this uh, photograph, okay, look to the left. Look at all those chem lines. Okay, now you're looking at the half past 11, quarter to 12 skies. Can you do, see completely that there is a change? Look on these cars, the wrong color. There's a dimness, a darkness across our skies. Now, when we see a total eclipse, it gets even darker, doesn't it? But when we see a partial eclipse, it's like this. Okay? Now, that's my belief. Because in the past, I have seen partial eclipses, and I've seen a dimness like this. And then, when it reaches to just gone half past one, everything lightens up again. So as again, it's important to keep an eye on them skies at that time. Everything on the screen is chems and just a haze. There's no need to geoengineer these areas across the world. So let's move to another image. And thank you. Thank you, Paul, for sending this in. OK, we've got another photograph that's panoramic that's come in. Now, this kind gentleman is called Tony from Dublin. Now there's many sky watchers, many people that's working very hard from Ireland. Now there's one fantastic channel as well, and I hope, if possible, you could subscribe to uh, this chap, Nibru Island. He works very hard to try and get the truth out. And I respect the man as well, I follow him all the time. And the work is amazing. He's always out searching the heavens and he knows the system's coming he knows it's a cover-up i mean you've got mr paul oakley as well 
from the UK, another fantastic guy that's been persistent to looking up at the heavens, scanning the skies. He knows there's a huge problem. He's always out there on the bridge, taking photographs and talking through, even in winter days, okay? Very cold temperatures. He's out there. There's many sky watchers out there that are being persistent. They've got a passion for it because they know it's coming. They know that this system is out there. Now, again, please subscribe to uh, Neil Locally. He's a good man. So thank you again, Tony, for this image. Okay, now we're knowing, we know we're seeing a lot of lens flare on this photograph. But what we're seeing is the darkness, the dimming. This is the eclipse now. Now this is coming in from Paul. He's just sent this in. Now I just showed you Tony's image. And just the one before that was Paul's image of it slightly brighter. But now it is 12 p.m. on this photograph. He stated this in his email. Now, can you see the difference? Can you see how dark it is? It's true. There is a dip in the light of our skies. It never was like this before. There can only be one reason, and that is because we've got that heavenly body that's in front of our sun. Now, I do not wish anybody to believe this, but we've got to think out the box, okay? And for those that are seeing the truth, it is very important, isn't it, to see these photographs. But again, we're just looking at the skies. We're doing no harm. We're not causing any problems. We're just looking at photographs, okay? So this image is a killer shot. So thank you again for this, Paul. Okay, now I've just had another image, again, from Tony from Dublin. See, the thing is, when I'm going through the different images, they're just coming up straight away. And you can see the pink haze, can't you? So thank you again for this image. Now I've got this photograph that's come in as well, again by Gabriel. Now this reminds me of that film with Harrison Ford, Air Force One as the plane was trying to be hijacked. Look at the way it turns around and then goes the other way. This is not a passenger airline. This is a chemtrail, the spray in the skies. So Gabriel, thank you for this uh, fantastic photograph. Okay, now Gabriel sent this image in as well for the morning sunrise skies. Now, it has dimmed, hasn't it? But we're seeing a colour source again we're seeing the halo the dark skies and this pink reflection here just down here though we're seeing a lens flare but this other colour is up here and behind look how dark it is on this side as well this creamy haze it's just I mean look at the reflection on this Audi TT let's go to another image here's a short video of a chem plane going through the skies this is happening every single day. Here's another video that's come in from Scott Buds showing you that the chem planes are spraying to hide the truth. Spraying all that aluminium across our skies. Look how he focuses in on these military planes. I mean, these planes are called Nimrods. Can you see that? special device on top of the plane. Look at this look as well. When you zoom in, you can see this chem plane again. Spraying the skies. It's so blatantly obvious of what they're doing, just going round in circles every day. Trish sent these images in as well, showing you the haze. No clouds. Now, do you remember just a couple of months ago, we were seeing clouds, a lot of clouds, weren't we, across the world, cloud formations. We're seeing none now. Right across the world, the clouds seem to have uh, disappeared. Those huge, white, strange-coloured clouds, very low to the ground. All we're seeing now is this haze in the sky, barium, and other chemicals. This next image is coming in from Thomas Clan. Look at these lines. Everything you see is just chemicals. Again, it's just 
Very strange, isn't it? But we are seeing this every day. OK, we've got an attachment that's come in from Spain, from Jabsin. He's persistently looking up to the heavens and noticing this pink haze. He states in his email as well, he'd never seen this pink haze before. Look at the two colours. We've seen this quite a few times now, chem lines as well. Fantastic photograph. Thank you also for sending this in. Here it is again, Jabsin walking round in Spain, his local area, and noticing above in the skies those chem lines and strange formations. But still, there's people that are not looking up. Now, I noticed on the screen that this lady is looking up, but I'm not sure what she's looking at. This gentleman here isn't looking up. But other people around the world as well, they're just not bothering looking up. Because all this again is unnatural. We're not seeing natural clouds anymore. So thank you again for this photograph. This is truly amazing to see this. Here we have another photograph from Benny Rogers. Now this guy is from Texas and he's seeing this pink haze, very strong. He says the sun went down but it was very strong this area here to the right side, this pink reflection. He's a full believer of this incoming solar system. Okay, he's seeing this colour in the skies. So thank you again for this fantastic photograph. Here we have another photograph from Eva from Germany. Now she's living thousands of feet high. Okay, now she's constantly looking at the sky. She's doing this for us, the community. She will not stop and she says if she catches anything, she will produce it onto a photograph or video so we can all see. So that's fantastic, isn't it? And she is seeing the changes. She's lived there nearly all her life and she's noticed a big difference in the skies. All this again, just strange cloud informations. So thank you for this photograph. Here we have other attachments from Cara near Florida. Another fantastic person that's working very hard, showing you the different skies. Now, if you look at the centre of the screen, you can just see this reflection here. Now, here is this object that's rising, but look just in between. You can see the sky is far too dark. Again, this is a huge cover to stop people seeing this darkness in the skies. Here we see these strange lines as well. We see a lot of these. I saw these today, about half past three. These strange chem lines. This is what they are. I mean, very, very strange, aren't they? Look at this pink haze. It's a different colour up there as well, with this object that's rising that's the wrong colour to be the sun. This is the next photograph as well. Strange formations again, different colours. And this mirror, this huge reflector that's coming through. Now, if it was our natural sun, you would see a dark... Look, I mean, it is overwhelming, isn't it? Looking at these different shades of darkness is just crazy now. It's getting to a point now that it's starting to show. OK, I'm going to show you these last attachments. And again, I've got hundreds upon hundreds of photographs to show you of the skies. Now, before I show you these images, just want to say again that these are images. We're not breaking the law. We're just showing photographs of the skies. OK? And to other people that say these are images of the skies, that's true. And this is what we're doing. We're just showing the images. Now, for the people that know the truth, we're seeing a different situation. So I'm going to now show you the next image. Now, these are coming from Germany from a kind subscriber. Look at these lines again. Can you see this here? Then they work it again across the sky to build up everything else on the screen. You can, all of it, everything is just a haze. They spray the skies through the night time and it's a big build up. You can see here as well, can't you? This is another twisted chemtrail. Lines in the skies again. 
Here's the next photo as well. You can see the, the line and then they spray again right across to thicken the chemtrail, so thicken up the skies. All this barium and aluminium. There you go, you can see again this chemtrail. It doesn't descend, it doesn't disappear, it just stays thick and stays there up in the sky. It's not a contrail. This is a chem line. Look again, this other chemtrail. Sometimes they use two or three lines, chem lines coming out of these, and then they seed together. See it all the time. See huge shadows, and they use these black chemtrails as well. Okay, so that's the end of this video, and I'll produce another one very shortly as well, because the images are becoming more overwhelming as we're seeing those changes. As again, on this footage that you just saw, the images were very much up to date. Now, 